the Raspberry Pi, and the beginning of education with the Erlang Open Telecom Platform compliant RCouch web database stack. Problem visualizations, relationships between functional parts, information technology, internet communications, database usage and mathematics should be taught using the latest low-cost tools provided by the Raspberry Pi initiative. But where should this start? A headless Pi coupled to a USB storage media provides at low cost an intellectually coherent teaching platform. This platform can educate pupils in the latest methods being utilized in the world today. The Pi provides an unbreakable web database stack based on the Open Telecom platform and our couch. The personal web server, web client, database and programming interface is all provided in the most up-to-date language environments. There is Erlang for the most advanced functional programming, with CoffeeScript and JavaScript for the more casual users. There has never been a more opportune moment to reassess the nature of teaching of information technology. Firstly, I must thank Benoit Chesno for the fantastic effort he has made to take the Apache Foundation's CouchDB code and turn it into a first-class OTP compliant tool that is still only at release 0 0.5. I know that there is a whole lot more to come and because it is built on firm foundations it will endure. I have just completed the task of setting up a Raspberry Pi to start RCouch at boot. This procedure enables a standard Raspberry Pi to be very quickly set up with not only a high performance SQL-less database and a web server, but also to equip the Pi with the cross-platform High Performance Erlang Language and Open Telecom Platform or OTP Environment. Our couch, or as I call it Rebar Couch or Reinforced Couch, is an advanced OTP version of Couch Database by Refuge IO. It incorporates developments that cannot yet be incorporated in CouchDB due to certain legacy considerations. The RCouch enables access to over 36,500 proven Erlang functions, of which 373 of the most critical and heavily used are natively implemented in the C language for speed. The Pi here is being remotely observed from this machine. I will connect it now. As you can see, the 6-core machine I'm working on has been replaced by the single-core Pi. Although the visualizations shown previously were on 6 cores, the same concept of large numbers of communicating independent processes holds true on the Pi. I am reminded of the heady days of the transputer, Occam, and Sir Tony Hoare's communicating sequential processes. But even the single core Pi is packing an incredible punch with this combo. Let me show you how. Firstly, the applications. These are supervised modules that exist in the Erlang OTP virtual machine. They have full access to all operating system features and add many unique features of their own, such as hot code loading, which enables code repairs without missing a beat. The couch application itself is split into many self-contained supervised trees. 
Each tree can be restarted in the event of a system crash without affecting any other tree. The Couch HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol is a daemon. It is a fully featured high performance web interface with many dedicated processes waiting to serve requests from the web. The indexer provides facilities to ad hoc index the records in the database in any arbitrary key contained in the records. That means that any occurrence of any word in any record can be highlighted in the index. Indexes can be written in a variety of languages, including CoffeeScript, JavaScript, or for raw performance in Erlang itself. The replicator allows continuous replication with backup copies of the database files and other load balancing and scaling features. Statistics are continuously collected. The Cowboy is a small, fast, modular Erlang HTTP server. The Crypto module allows full access to Erlang's comprehensive cryptographic features. iBrowse is the database's client to access other servers. It is helped by iNets. The kernel is the heart of the OTP structure and it controls all the others. Lager is a comprehensive logging framework. The OS Monitor supervises the host operating system and provides consistency over Unix, Linux or Windows systems. Runtime tools provide debugging and analysis facilities. SESL provides reports of system activities. SSL provides facilities for secure transmissions and cryptographic facilities for the database. Processes list the 250 plus currently running Erlang lightweight processes. The table viewer shows the shared fast memory lookup tables known as Erlang term storage and the corresponding disk Erlang term storage. We are now within the tracing and debugging facilities. We will pick to trace Couch primary services. We will now enter the web gateway to the Pi's new database. First is the gateway into both the database and its indexes and other capabilities called Futon which is a play on words relating to Couch, standing for Cluster of Unreliable Commodity Hardware. This illustrates the web-compliant nature, or the of-the-webness, of our Couch and Couch. The other window shown is a secure shell access directly to Raspberry Pi, showing the log of the Erlang console of our Couch which is constantly relaying the contents of couch log for instant viewing. But this console gives full access to all of the running Erlang virtual machines processes and functions. This console can do the following in our couch. Start, start front, stop, restart, reboot, ping to see if the node is operating, start the console, start the console clean, attach an Erlang pipe and discover other nodes URIs. This sequence shows an Erlang view preparation. This can optionally be in Erlang, CoffeeScript or JavaScript. CoffeeScript is a Ruby, Python and Haskell inspired scripting sugar that transcompiles to clean JavaScript. Erlang gives the raw power of our couch, but the 36,500 functions in this Pi contain a bewildering array of power which could land implementations in trouble, 
if they allow too easy an access to this. We now go back to Observer to see a contemporaneous representation of this activity in the trace log of Observer. My thanks to Observer authors Ollie Matson and Magnus Eriksson and Dan Goodmundson and a special thanks to Benoit Chesnau of Refuge IO, without whom this video would have been impossible. Back now to the GNOME 3 desktop. Thanks for watching. Please comment. I will try to answer, or I'll refer it to the experts. And finally, it's Screencaster out.